Good afternoon, my name is Yuritis Gieri. I am one of the owners of the Compound Creative Space. Good afternoon, my name is Kathy Anderson Gieri. I'm the best half of the I'm the co-owner of the Compound. How do you change the mindset of that? Was asked. Well, for me, I can say this. Um, I've heard a lot of what both of these guys have said. And um, <clears throat> myself, I've supported a lot of the communities uh, with eating on house and tech, that nightlife. But what we've done ourselves at the time uh, is we regressed, uh, took a, a more micro look at what we were doing and started dealing with our community directly. One of the things that we've done is that uh, I don't have a lot of neighbors on my block leading to my building. So those neighbors I talked to were from the block. And I had already been, me and my staff, we keep the block clean. I cut the lawns and everything like that, keep it clean. So they elected me president, and not only that, the, the block club now is called the Compound Community Block Club. So there, there are music and artistic communities that deal with us already, that all of us are going to be working together where there, some of the groups are going to be building a science for us to start our block club, because all this is new for us. Um, but what, that's what we decided to do, is reach more out into the community. So we do have more community outreach and the people be involved with us with the events that we do. They, they are aware of what we do. Um, some of them have contacted other people that are uh, very influential people just because of the fact that we have reached out to the neighborhood. Uh, but I guess more or less, a uh, young lady back there asked the question, how do you start with that change? I think it's going backwards instead of thinking about the city and the community or your place where you operate, well, will be the place where you operate because that's your backyard. Start there. Mm -hmm. Work hard on that and then branch out. I love that, you know, I mean, starting small, changing minds. Yes. But as far as my, my answer to what you were saying is, check yourself first. Yeah. You know, all of us are heavily engaged in social media now. These are our own little TV and movie channels. You know, you have your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, whatever. Go on your own channels and find out how much of your channel is just about yourself. Yes. You know, how, how narcissistic is your own channel of promoting just your thing, whether it be your venue, your brand, whatever? Do you ever say, or if you're, let's say you're a DJ, not to pick on DJs, have you ever complimented other people's sets? Have you ever said, I like this new DJ coming up, or I love this producer's new release, or is it just, hey, look, this is my party Friday, this is my party next month, this is my party. You know, some people, if you check yourself, I'll tell you somebody in the room, I won't embarrass you, but Walter Glasshouse is a DJ and a producer of events. Walter writes some of the nicest stuff about other people's stuff that I've ever seen. You know, he talks about himself like, like he's supposed to, it's his channel. But when Walter does another promoter's event, he, he throws a level of shine on the event that you yourself say, I should put that in my press release. You know, he, he, he's good at engaging in what he, he does. Uh, Angie Linder is, is like a master of not just, I met her as just this, this uh, mother bear of Detroit Techno Militia, you know. But she, her tentacles are involved in so much more, and things like their annual barbecue is exactly what community is supposed to be about. Not, not talking about it. She does it. And they put up their own personal home and neighborhood. And I'm sure their neighbors are like, oh my God. Is that <laughs> <laughs> all They're all there. Well, they are. That's it. Right. So different people cross the lines and borders. IGO does it. You, you look at your tribe and see how many, how, how welcome you are in other people's tribes. Or people putting up arms every time they see you, you know. That's that's how we build this community. That's how you check yourself to me. Look at what you're doing. Fantastic. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, Angie. I would like to hear some of the challenges that you've had, as uh, especially I, I love what you do at your creative space. 
um, getting resources from the city or what, you know, some of those challenges and maybe what are some of the solutions that you could see coming out of this conversation? Well, <laughs> um, to be honest, we haven't had any challenges for getting any resources from the city because we've been doing everything out of pocket. Um, just recently, we started pivoting in that direction, positioning ourselves to look for more resources because since 2018, like I said, we've been doing everything out of pocket. Um, so I have come in contact with people who are guiding us and assisting us on doing that in that direction. So to answer your question from the beginning, which you asked, there is no answer for it because I haven't gotten the assistance. Okay. I think um, we did have um, some issues with the city. We had some flooding on our street, and we had to um, try to get in touch with the uh, department to help us to alleviate that problem. And we lost a lot of business during that time. I mean, it was like, what, four months? Wow. Three months? Wow. So um, the flood is so bad that we started calling it the, the lake stands there. So <laughs> that's how bad it got. So we did have some issues with that and with, you know, issues with dealing with the city to get someone there to, to fix the problem. We're still kind of dealing with it now. Um, so that was like our biggest challenge. Thank you, Tuxedo. It's an amazing space. <laughs>